To extract plasmid DNA instead of other types of nucleic acids, the alkali lysis method may be used, which involves 1. Growing a bacterial cell culture harboring plasmids in growth media, then pelleting these cells by centrifugation and discarding the supernatant. 2. Resuspending the pellet of cells in cold resuspension solution containing tris, a buffer to stabilize the DNA, EDTA to chelate divalent cations in the solution, thus destabilizing the cell wall and preventing DNases from damaging the plasmid. Glucose or glycerol to maintain the osmotic pressure so the cells don't burst, lysozyme to degrade the bacterial cell wall if necessary. 3. Breaking open the cell to release the cell's contents by adding alkaline lysis buffer and mixing by inverting the tube a few times. Do not vortex. Incubate for one minute. The alkali lysis buffer contains sodium dodecyl sulfate, a detergent that solubilizes the cell membrane and denatures the proteins, sodium hydroxide, an alkali that breaks down the cell wall, denatures proteins, and converts double-stranded DNA to single-stranded DNA. 4. Neutralizing by adding chilled potassium acetate, and incubating for two minutes. The decrease in alkalinity allows hydrogen bonding to re-establish DNA double strands, effectively in the small plasmid DNA, but not well in huge genomic DNA stretches. The double-stranded plasmid dissolves, while the single-stranded genomic DNA, SDS, and the denatured cellular proteins stick through hydrophobic interactions to form a precipitate. RNA may be denatured with RNAs A. 5. Separate the plasmid from the precipitated cell contents by centrifuging and transferring the supernatant to a clean Appendorf tube. 6. Precipitate the plasmid by adding isopropanol, mixing and incubating at minus 20 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes, then centrifuge to pellet the DNA. 7. Clean the DNA pellet by discarding the supernatant, washing the pellet by adding 70% ethanol, centrifuging and removing the supernatant. 8. Resuspend the pellet in millicule water and hopefully when you check, you will find highly pure plasmid DNA.